Okay, hi guys. Uh, good morning. I know I'm a late bloomer. I never get up early. My mom used to beat me up to get me to school on time because I would never get up early. She always called me the late bloomer. <laughs> I don't know how I made it to the hospital, working in the hospital. In the uh, operating room at 6.30, 7 in the morning, every morning when I went to NYU or when I went to uh, Methodist Hospital, New York Presbyterian Methodist Hospital in Brooklyn. But I make sure I was OR because I love doing the vein, you know, the vein guided procedures. Anyway, uh, my husband wakes up at 7. I wake up at 7 with him, but somehow... I stay on the bed and I fall right back to sleep. So I don't know if it's that or my sleep apnea. I just keep sleeping. Um, I started this one a uh, couple of days ago. I put some texture on it first. I put gesso and then um, I let the gesso dry. This morning it was nice and dry. So I just threw, <coughs> I threw the paint over it. So now I'm just letting the paint kind of drip because that's what I want it to be, like a dripping type of paint coming down. And uh, I notice it gets kind of mushy and ugly looking when you mix the colors together. So I'm just going to let it dry like that. Actually, it's kind of probably the easiest paint I ever did. Uh, <clears throat> so... Yeah, I'm just going to let it drip down like that, not mix it together too much. And actually, this is a glow-in-the-dark type of uh, paint. So, I don't know, I guess, do I have to get a black light to see how it glows? I don't remember how that works, because I haven't done the glow-in-the-dark, worked with glow-in-the-dark paint in so many years. It's been years since I've worked with glow-in-the-dark paint. So, if any of you guys know, you can tell me. I'll be more than glad to take your, you know, your advice. I'm going to put a little bit of this orange here because I really don't like when I mix the color, how it became kind of brownish in that area. So, yeah, I don't like the, the, the brown colors in between. I thought it makes it look kind of aged, so... I'm just going to let it dry like that. Wow, this is the easiest painting I ever did. I can tell you that much. I never had a paint that I had to do it that fast. Just dripping paints all over. Okay. Oh, these are hard to open, these color paints. You know, they are very nice glow in the dark. But Ah, neon colors, but uh, they're kind of hard to open. Yeah, let's call this color it's a different color. It's like a different or type of orange. Yeah. I think I'm just going to let it dry like that because it really does look very nice and abstract kind of color. Yeah. A messy abstract thing. <laughs> Who cares, right? Here goes some yellow that I have from the other day that I used on one of my paints. I could use that yellow on there. Why not? Some acrylic paint. Old acrylic paints that I have on the side. This is where you use all your old paints. Just throw them in there. What if they come out? This one doesn't want to come out. <clears throat> Oh, it's supposed to be a paint, but it looks like a pretty dirty pink. Ugh. Okay, it's a pretty pink. Oh, look who came to visit me, my little pootie cat. You come to see mommy? <laughs> You're such a good boy. You come to see mommy every day when mommy's painting, huh? Yeah, I just don't want to mix these colors too much. I don't like the way they look when they're kind of darkish. <clears throat> Let's do this. You see, when you mix them together, they become very funny looking. I don't like that. Yeah. 
it was kind of weird 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 and uh we had this painted falling on the floor but that's okay i have carb carb cardboard on the floor that's why i put cardboard down so that that way it all stays that way on the floor let's put some of this nice burgundy here and a little bit more on this side Okay. <laughs> Boy, this is the easiest painting I ever did, if you ask me. <clears throat> but uh, who knows? I may add more layers of texture to it. I'm going to let it dry overnight. Let's see how it becomes. It's a nice gallery fat canvas. So let's not let too much of this dripping dry down here because I'm doing something with the edges. I want to do something with the edges of this paint. Yeah. Well, thanks for uh, watching, guys. It wasn't very long, but I uh, just wanted to say hi, keep in touch with everyone, and uh, know that, yes, I'm okay. I'm good. Uh, this smock keeps falling off of me but um other than that i'm fine i'm just uh running out of space to put my art away so it was nice the other day i went to a print shop and the guy gave me a whole bunch of tubes you know for uh let me see he gave me a bunch of these tubes which is good to put the paints that I'm going to be doing in the following weeks of, you know, my canvases that are rolled canvases from Jerry Autorama. You guys should go there. They got very nice uh, uh, Frederick's uh, canvas, smooth, uh, primed three times. So it's very smooth and you could cut it down to smaller sizes and just staple it to one of your old canvases and just paint like it's a regular canvas so um yeah and then when it dries really good um depending if you want to varnish it spray varnish it then you wait and then you put it in these i keep the inner tube that comes inside of this so i roll it around the paint or if i don't have that inner tube i put parchment paper over the paint and then roll it really tight so that way you know it doesn't crack the paint while it's in the tube for you know a month two months three months or whatever so yeah all right guys uh that's about all i can say right now i thank all my subscribers all my likes and um yeah i'm sorry i don't come on as much as i used to i've made so many uh painting uh tutorials on my other uh youtube page and I have 1,900 videos in my other YouTube page. I don't know why they threw me out of that page or if it, if it was hacked. I don't know. But this is a new YouTube page that I'm using now. And I feel like I have to start all over again, which doesn't make me exactly happy. But I'm happy for all who follow me and all who believe in my art, all who believe in me. And... Uh, yeah, and I still follow my medical people because we are still a family. We are always and forever going to be a family. I love them so much, and I love all my art people. Um, my new passion is art. So uh, that's it. Love you all. God bless. Have a wonderful and productive day.